we can use goal seek to find the result we want by adjusting an input value in other words if we know the result that we want from a formula but we are not sure what input value the formula needs to get that result then in such situation we can use goal seek feature in today's video we will learn about how to use goal seek feature with a couple of examples so stay tuned Hi I am your tutor and welcome to my channel learn in 5 minutes so let's start we have a cost sheet here our product is being sold at 80000 per unit and our total cost is approximately 73000 which leaves us with profit of approximately 7000 our task here is that we want to calculate this cost sheet in such a manner that we get profit of 15000 instead of 7000 The calculation won't be straightforward since our per unit production cost is 40000 but the wages is dynamically calculated to 20% of production cost and transportation is calculated to 15% on production as well as wages similarly commission is calculated 5% on production wages and transportation and finally marketing is calculated 20% on above four amounts so first let us try to do this manually Let's make production cost to 35000. Profit is going higher. Let's make this 36000. Profit is less than our target. Let's make this to 35500. Ah, we are closer. Let's increase this more by 100. Still closer. Let's increase this more by 20. Profit dropped a bit. Let's decrease this by 10. still more by 10 so when the calculations are linked to each other and dynamically changes when we change one value this kind of back calculations becomes difficult or rather it becomes a matter of trial and error but in excel we have a feature named goal c this feature is specifically created to help us in this kind of situation let us go back to 40000 and check how goal c works goal c can be found in data ribbon under what if analysis there are few parameters which we need to provide in this dialog box the first is target cell which is profit cell in our case next is the value which we want so this is 15000 in our case and finally which cell we want to change so we want to change the production cost cell now we just need to click okay and leave the rest on excel and our job is done This not only works on numbers, but it also works on dates. Let's see another example here, where we have a project plan, and each stage has a start date, and number of days for completion, and completion date. And the next start date is same as previous stages completion date. So the plan is calculated in this manner. So if we start our project on first of January. then it will get completed on 18th may but our project manager has asked us to deliver this latest by 31st march so we will need to back calculate our entire program to do this we will apply goal seek here we'll go back to our data ribbon what if analysis goal seek our set cell is this value is 3103 2021 and we need to change this cell okay so we need to start our project latest by 14th of november i hope you got a hang of how goal seek works in case if you have any query on this please write it in the comment box below and i will try to resolve that so that's all in this video if you found this video useful please like and share with your friends and if you have not subscribed to this channel do it right now and press the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that i upload thanks for watching